Chris Garino back with you on NJNets.com, and we are with one of the newest Nets, seven-foot backup center. Guy was born in Paris, was raised in the Caribbean. He is Johan Petro. And uh, first of all, welcome to the Nets. You've had an or- unorthodox sort of rise to the NBA. Coming from Paris in the Caribbean is not usually the, uh, the way guys end up in the NBA. But how have you made that adjustment from playing overseas in France to coming to the NBA with all this international competition that the NBA enjoys right now? Yeah, um, it, was, it was pretty tough my first couple of years. I've, I had my family with me, so that kind of helped me out a lot. Um, just believe of what I, I knew I, I could do and uh, stick with that. Try to try to play my hardest, try to work hard every day and uh, stick with that. How closely did you follow the NBA as a young man growing up? Um, like the basic, Michael Jordan, the years in Chicago. Um, I wasn't really into basketball like that. No idea why. I was already really tall when I was growing up. Um, but my dad was like one day, look, you just you getting too tall on me right now. You got to do something with that. So I was like, you know what? Let's try it. And uh, since then, I never, I never, I never looked back. Now, was that in France? Was that in Paris when you started playing basketball? In Guadeloupe. So, what was the basketball scene like in Guadeloupe at the time? Uh, basketball was the sport that all the young guys were trying to do because it was cool. Try to be like MJ and. That's, everybody was like all about skills, and that's how that's how it was over there. What about a guy like Tim Duncan, who who came from the Caribbean? Was he an influence? Did was there was he known down there? Uh, known because of what he did, but uh, if you ask any young, it was MJ, it was Kobe, it was Iverson, it was the type of guy who was just like flashy. Well, well, I, I don't know if you describe your game as flashy, but uh, you're certainly a guy who brings some athleticism and defense, much needed. It's going to be the second unit behind Brooke Lopez on this team. But how do you see your role? What does Avery Johnson talk to you about? And uh, how do you think you can help this net team? By everything I learned in the past, all the misses that I probably made playing with other teams, um, whatever I learned with that experience, uh, defensively, offensively, around the basket. I think coach just want me to, to be a big presence defensively and uh, offensively I will find my way. That's not that's I don't think that's gonna be an issue. I will find my way with all the goods with the great player that we have. I will I will find my way around that. That's not a I don't think that's gonna be a problem but I think defensively that's that's the big accent that he put on on me and that's something that I'm definitely gonna pull up for him. All right, well, Johan Petro, are you also aware that one of the most beloved players in Nets history was nicknamed Petro, Drazen Petrovic? Are you aware of Drazen? I heard about I didn't know the nickname was Petro, but I heard about him. Yeah. He, his nickname was Petro, and obviously a beloved figure that, that passed all too young. And uh, Incidentally, though, a guy who was instrumental in, in paving the way for all the European players to come here to the Nets. So that's something you have in common. That's something we have in common. I'm going to try to have people know me as a nickname whatever it's going to be and try to represent. Well, I know something they do know you from on, uh, on the Internet is some dance moves. Can you give us a, a little, I'm going to put you on the spot, give us a little example of that right now. Got to get out of the way. <laughs> well, the Nets are hoping that those moves as well as his moves on the floor can help them out this season. That's Johan Petro, one of the newest Nets. I'm Chris Carino. Thanks for tuning in to NJNets.com. 